Welcome back to the SST classroom. Now my dear children, in the last video, we started our chapter that is coastal regions and island of India. Got it? And in that we have discussed about the western coastal plain. So can you tell me what we have discussed about the western coastal plain? We have discussed that this western coastal plain, it lies between the Western Ghats and Arabian Sea. Got it? And then we have discussed that it stretches from Gujarat to Kerala. Okay? And its width is 65 kilometers. Got it? And then we discussed that the Western Coastal Plains is uh, divided into three important parts. That is the Gujarat Coast. Right? Konkan Coast. And Malabar coast. Okay. Now let's do. Uh, let's move to the eastern coastal plains. So eastern coastal plains. It lies between the eastern part and the Bay of Bengal. Right. Western parts. Uh, western coastal plains. It lies between the western parts and Arabian Sea. Got it. So this eastern coastal plains. It lies between Eastern Ghats and the Bay of Bengal. And it stretches from West Bengal to Tamil Nadu. You can see in the map, it stretches from West Bengal to Tamil Nadu. And it includes the delta of West Bengal, Orissa, Andhra Pradesh, Puducherry, and Tamil Nadu. Got it? And here the average width of this plane is 120 km. It is wider than western coastal plain. So the width of the western coastal plain is 65 km. Whereas the width of eastern coastal plain is 120 km. Means it is wider than western coastal plain. Hopefully they have understood my dear children. Now, now we see this eastern coastal plain. It divided. It, it has a two broad division. So we we'll see which two broad division. That is in northern part it is the northern Sikar, and in the southern part it is a Coromandel coast. Got it? And in western coastal plain is divided into three important points. That is Gujarat coast, Konkan and Malabar. And eastern coastal plain it divides into two broad. It divides into two parts. That is in the northern, northern Sika and in the southern that is a Koromandal coast. Got it my children? So Coastal are important for us in many, in more and then many ways. Okay. So important seaport have developed along the coastal plain. What in my children? So the long sea coast on both the sides are also important for fishing prey. Got it? So the sea fishes are consumed within the country and exported to the foreign countries. So this coastline is very important for us. And the trading is also is also done along the sea coast. Got it? So my dear children, the, here the sea which is like Goa is very famous and it is a tourist uh, attraction. The people within the country and all over the world they come and they visit the famous place that like the Goa beaches. So my dear children, this coastline is very important to our country. Got it? Hope you have understood about the western coastal plain and eastern coastal plain. Now my dear children, what you are going to do? You have to read the textbook and underline the new words and important points. In the next video, we are going to discuss about the islands of